Hey, what's up everyone? Let's add some LEDs to the controller ports of an Xbox console. Some things you're gonna need for this mod are a small flathead screwdriver, some wire cutters, solder and a soldering iron, a pair of needle nose pliers helps, some five millimeter LEDs, I'm using Blue. You're also going to need some resistors, I'm using the 470 ohm, and some helping hands. If you have them, not required, but they make everything much, much easier. Okay, so first thing you're going to want to do is remove this shield that's on the controller ports. I've actually already removed it on this one. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. All you need to do is take your flathead screwdriver, and you can shove it back in here and just start peeling it off. And this is where your needle nose pliers come in handy. You can go ahead and just grab it. And just pry it off. There you have it. You've removed the bottom shield. Uh, I always leave the top shields in place just in case you want to do a, uh, a relay mod. Uh, such as an internal doggle of some sort, either the DVD doggle or the wireless controller doggle. Anyway, that's a totally different subject. So we're going to be just connecting the LEDs straight to the uh, controller port bottom. I'll give you an idea of what it's going to look like. We're just going to want to connect it kind of like this to the bottom. You're going to want to connect your positive to the red and your negative to the black. So positive will go on this pad and negative will go over here on this pad. So go ahead and connect your negative from your LED to the black wire pad on the controller port. Okay, after doing that, you're going to want to take your resistor. Again, I'm using 470 ohm. And you're going to want to attach one side of your resistor, doesn't matter which side, as they don't really have sides, to the red pad slash wire area. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so far this is what we got. We have our negative of our LED hooked to the black pad slash wire. And then we have one end of the resistor onto the red pad slash wire. So from here, all we need to do is connect our positive lead from our LED to the other end of the resistor. So go ahead and do that now. I just try to center this up in the middle as much as I can. And I did choose to point the LED backwards because I think it just gives the best looking light through the controller port. Which seems kind of odd, but trust me, it looks good. I'm just going to wrap the resistor around the LED leg. All right, now you just want to take your wire clippers and go ahead and clean up any leads you still have. And there you have it. Now you just need to do that three more times on each controller port and you will have some nicely lit controller ports.
I really hope this tutorial helped you guys. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter for updates on my channel. Uh, Alright, peace.